If you've been thinking about moving to Florida, whether that's from out of state or out of the country, here's what you need to know first before you do that. Let's get into it. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Connor Green. I'm a realtor here in Tampa Bay, and I have loads of people who are moving here from out of state, and they're coming from New York, New Jersey, Chicago, a lot from California, even some from Texas, even though a lot of people are still going to Texas too from other states, but I think a lot coming out of Texas too. Maine uh, happens a lot, Wisconsin too. Shout out to the Cheeseheads. So if you're one of those people or you're coming from out of country, which we're also seeing a lot of that too, uh, here are the things you need to know first. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure you bookmark or watch the video that I just made about the seven big negatives that Florida has that you're gonna wanna avoid Florida if you can't handle those seven things. Now, other than those, the first thing you need to know are the price increases. If you haven't looked at price recently, you're gonna wanna do that because you're gonna wanna get a much more up-to-date perspective on where prices have been. Tampa Bay, for example, has been one of the hottest real estate markets in the country, uh, which was just recognized by Zillow a little bit ago as well. And so if you only know prices what they were a year ago or two years ago, you're gonna wanna know where the opportunities are in terms of what you're looking for and what price you're looking to stay under or stay within and what areas make the most sense for you. Obviously, this is something that a real estate agent can do for you too, uh, but this is definitely the first important factor that you need to know in terms of updating yourself on price because they have changed quite significantly over the past year. Number two is going to be the inventory shortages. It really doesn't matter where you're looking in Florida, there's an inventory shortage throughout. And this is gonna be a reality if you're gonna be buying something. And so you gotta be prepared for this. You gotta be prepared for how high the competition is and how few options you're going to have. Now a big hack for this one is working with a real estate agent who can get you access to off-market properties. This is a big thing I'm doing for clients right now. I have a whole program around it. And that's something that's getting them access to properties that no one else knows about. Because for a lot of my clients, the properties that are on the market are just really not satisfying their needs and what they're looking for. And so make sure you hook up with an agent that can do that for you. Number three, the bidding wars. You've gotta be ready for bidding wars. Anything on the market, especially if it's renovated, if it's moving ready, We've got people who not only are local that are desperately trying to find a place, but people out of state too, who maybe from a perspective standpoint, you know, they don't really care how much they spend. They'll overspend by 100,000 or 150,000 for maybe a home closer to like the million dollar mark. If you're seeing homes around the 500,000 mark, maybe you're seeing people spend 10, 15, 20, 25,000 above maybe where the fair market is. And so you've gotta be ready for these bidding wars. Uh, it's something that you know, your real estate agent should be able to navigate you through. If you can, again, get access to some of that off-market properties, you won't have to deal with the bidding wars because you won't have to be have any competition. Uh, but again, expectation-wise though, you've gotta be ready for these bidding wars because really regardless of where you're looking in Florida, they're gonna be a reality of you buying a home here. Number four, the new build timelines. So if you're considering new construction, whether that's just from a peace of mind standpoint, you just like not having to worry that anything's really gonna go wrong with the home for the next like five, 10 years for the most part, since everything's brand new, um, or just from a style standpoint, you know, you like everything to be brand new. Uh, well, the new build timelines definitely are not very tight. You know, you could be looking at at least 12 months um, and you have to be ready for and expect delays because yes, they can do everything in their power as far as the builders and developers, but if the appliances all of a sudden get pushed back or any of the supplies get a sudden you know, big delay, it's gonna hold the whole project back and it's gonna prevent the project from being finished, from them getting their certificate of occupancy and from them being able to sell the home to you and for you to be able to close on it. So you gotta be ready for those new build timelines. I would say 12 to 14 months. And the last one, number five, you gotta be ready for a much more laid back and non-restrictive environment especially when it comes to like mask wearing, for example. You gotta be ready for going out to restaurants, going out to bars. You gotta be ready for grocery stores. All of these public places, you know, there's gonna be a lot of people who are not wearing masks. And that's just kind of the, the general MO around here. There's still plenty of people that wear masks and it's definitely not looked down upon or anything like that. And I'm not saying you should or shouldn't. I'm just telling you that if you are very conscious about other people wearing masks and it makes you very uncertain and it makes you feel uh, uncomfortable, you know, make sure you're intentional about the places you go and you don't put yourself in spots where you're gonna feel a little uncomfortable. Obviously you can always leave, you know, if you go into a restaurant or a bar or anything like that, you don't feel comfortable, but just know that that's a reality, you know? And it's not just your college kids or, 
you know, your early 30s people who feel like they're not at risk and they won't wear a mask. I mean, it's 95 year olds too, you know? So just realize that's kind of a general attitude around here. And so a lot of people, you know, are gonna be a lot more laid back and less restrictive about that kind of stuff. So if you're looking to move to Florida in the near future, make sure you're ready both for the price increases that we've had, make sure you have a realistic perspective on all that, make sure you're ready for the bidding wars, make sure you're ready for the extended build timelines as far as new builds, make sure you're ready for the inventory shortages that we have because there's not a lot of inventory on the market, you wanna get access to that off-market inventory, feel free to comment below or message me directly and I can tell you more about that. And then you wanna be ready for that laid back environment. You wanna be ready for people, especially from a mask wearing standpoint, you know, not necessarily wearing masks for a lot of different, you know, public places or you know, common places like grocery stores, bars and all that. So you gotta be ready for that attitude and make sure it doesn't catch you off guard or make you super uncomfortable. And it does, you know, again, always feel free to just, you know, step your step away from that place. Those are my top five. Check out my channel for some other related videos if you're thinking about moving to Florida. And if you are, definitely reach out to me. I'd love to give you a good perspective on different areas, you know, whether you're looking at the Tampa area, which is where I'm based out of, or if you're looking somewhere else, whether it's Orlando or Miami, I know all of the top agents in the Florida area and I would be happy to give you some assistance. That's it for me today, guys. So until next time, this is Connor Green. Have a blessed night.